Welcome back and thanks again for joining us. As California continues to deal with severe drought, the state's cattle producers have to come up with creative ways to continue to be profitable. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Russell Nemitz introduces us to one operation that adds value to their operation by combining wine with cattle. It's not every day you see cattle grazing and grapevines growing on the same operation, but Sonoma Mountain Herefords is unique. This registered seed stock operation is in a part of California that's more often recognized for outstanding wine. The Cundy Estate has long been home both to great vineyards and to Hereford cattle. Jim and Marsha Mickelson credit their kids with helping to keep the family in the cattle business. Sonoma Mountain Herefords came uh, about about 15 years ago when we purchased my wife's family's uh, uh, Hereford cattle and our children were showing cattle in 4-H uh, when they were about eight and nine years old. And through purchasing my wife's family's cattle, we've grown the operation into about 175 mother cows today. It is a family operation. It's my husband and myself, and uh, we have two children and a daughter-in-law that are involved. So uh, very much uh, hands-on and uh, keeps us very busy. Today, in the midst of the severe California drought, Bobby Mickelson and his wife Heidi are keeping their herd in condition by feeding hay. Hereford was the breed of choice for Marsha's father, and that tradition continues today. History of Herefords in our operation go way back. My dad was uh, started a Hereford herd with an FFA project back in the, about the 1940s and uh, started developing his herd and uh, had registered Herefords and uh, then I got the bug. I like them because they're not only are they docile creatures compared to other um, uh, cattle species, I think they produce a very high quality product for the American consumer. The breed is, is a breed that you can, can uh, get out and be in and be around and not have to worry about uh, having problems with uh, cattle that have an attitude. And the Hereford breed is one that, that is real strong in uh, docility and, and uh, easy to be around. At Sonoma Mountain Herefords, the top priority is to raise high quality bulls for commercial cattlemen. Marsha and Jim believe the mountain conditions where the animals are raised prepares them to perform for their customers. Our bulls are our mountain raised bulls, part of Sonoma Mountain. <laughs> and uh, so they're not fed in a feedlot situation. So they have to travel to get their food and water and we make sure that they get out and travel um, the way we set up where we water them and where we feed them. So they're moving, they're, um, they're very sound on their feet and legs. And I think that's an important part of where we sell our bulls because they're gonna go out in the mountains to go breed the cows and they've gotta have good legs underneath them. We uh, really work hard on uh, quality of cattle, uh, feet and legs starting at the ground up, great udders, uh, moderate frame cows. Uh, the way we're going to make our living is selling uh, bulls to go out and breed in these commercial cow herds. And in order to do that, they've got to be able to perform for them. So we spend uh, a lot of time in selecting uh, sires. We AI here. Uh, so we spend a lot of time in looking at EPDs, uh, looking at tenderness, a lot of the, the things that are available to us today, and really try and put together a good quality product that uh, will benefit us as a breeder, as well as the per people that uh, are buying uh, replacement stock from us. Stewardship of the land is another priority at Sonoma Mountain Herefords, and the Mickelson family's efforts have positively impacted both cattle and grape production. The winery operation farms about 750 acres of varietal wine grapes there in the Sonoma Valley. And the entire ranch, which is 1,850 acres, our home ranch, is not all covered with vines. So there is a large portion of it that is pasture land and grasslands and uh, woodlands. And so we utilize the open, open space for the cattle. The cattle play a vital role in our sustainability. You know, we utilize the cattle for natural fertilization on the fallow grounds. Um, when we tear out a vineyard, the cattle would be put in there and they graze off uh, the, the fallow land. Um, and we also use cattle uh, waste in compost for our vineyards. So it kind of all is very, has a very symbiotic relationship between the vineyards and the cattle. The property, as she'd said, is sustainably farmed. And uh, part of that uh, farming practice is bringing the consumer right onto the property. And they get to see the cattle grazing in amongst the vineyards. And, and that exposure to the consumer, I think, has really done a lot to promote 
uh, the beef industry and to promote the marriage of cattle and wine that that people when they leave the winery really feel like I want to go get a good steak someplace and enjoy it with a good bottle of cab or or Zen, a, a good red wine. Grazing and grape growing have been intertwined at Sonoma Mountain Hereford since the 1950s and working together the Mickelson family has found the winning combination to produce great wine and great tasting beef. As far as Sonoma Mountain Herefords go, I like to think that we produce a very honest product with a lot of integrity. I think it's a very high quality product that I think the consumer will always be happy with when they sit down um, at their meal in, in the evening time with their family. Being in this cattle operation really came out of uh, something that we could do together as a family and uh, we've really enjoyed it and, and uh, live it every day. It's been a lot of fun for us. Reporting from Sonoma, California, I'm Russell Nimitz for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.